Is it the Grinch? Oh, is he scary? It's one of those fish that cause delays. We should have six children. We should probably count before we pull out of the driveway. What if it's good? All right, is there enough light, Moo Moo? Here we are. Can I say hello? Are you gonna go see the doctor? We're here for Millie's pre-op appointment. We're going to find out when and if she will be having her hernia surgery. So she has no idea what's happening, but we've got these cats with me. These crazy cats. Mama? Yeah, you wanna go see the doctor? She's like, okay, why not? She's <laughs> she has no idea what's coming. She's confused because she usually doesn't go places like without Ivy. Okay, open hands. And an elevator with everybody. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's see. This does not look like reminds me of the Briar Festival Hotel with the carpets. No, this is not the right floor. Maybe it's four. <laughs> let's try this again. <laughs> Do -do -do. <laughs> I'll figure it out. I should have I should have read the sign and I didn't. There's a sign. What do you think? How can you tell? We're gonna figure this out. We're gonna go all the way back to the first floor so that I can find the sign out front and read that and figure out what floor we're supposed to be on. Because now we're just playing <laughs> elevator. Like the elevator, elevator shuffle. What is it? Yeah, there's fish up there. Yeah, what's this over here? What's that? What's that? Is it the Grinch? Oh, is he scary? <gasps> You're so silly. Can you tell me what color? Pink? It's pink. It's pink? What other colors? <laughs> yellow? Can you say yellow? Well, hell, oh geez. Okay, all right. That's unnecessary. Hey. What is going on? I, I truly don't know what's going on right now. Okay, well we're just gonna have to go with no lighting then because otherwise it's a disco party. Let me see if I can just get a little bit of light in here. Okie doke. So, Christopher and I are going on a little date with only two kids. This is which totally like incidentally feels like a lot less than eight. So we're taking just Ivy and Amelia with us. We emptied the seats out of the back of the NV because we need to go to Ikea and get Kennedy the rest of her furniture so we can finish her room makeover. Shelby's is done. Um, you guys have seen that video already. And now we've got to finish Kennedy's. It got delayed a little bit by Mr. Benjamin joining our family. Delays things a little. He's a delay fish. He's one of those fish that cause delays. Um, <laughs> Just kidding, of course, kidding. But anyways, I we're gonna go to dinner. Where are we gonna go to dinner? I don't know. Uh, a little Mexican place next to IKEA. There's or... not a Mexican place next to IKEA. Yeah, oh, that, we ate there one time and we both hated it. We said we weren't gonna go back. Yeah, anyways, we're gonna go find something to eat. But um, so the last clip you saw was us taking Amelia to the doctor um, for her pre-op. I am eating my hair. And it's what's for dinner. <laughs> Harry one for dinner um, so they just actually called me today to go ahead and schedule her surgery so she will be having surgery in about two weeks and we have to be there at 6 45 a.m. and her surgery will be at 8 45 a.m. and incidentally it also Chibella. it also happens to be um, just a couple of days before Benjamin's adoption finalization. So we have to drive a few states down to go finalize his adoption. Um, so it's just, it's gonna be a busy, busy week. I asked them if she was gonna be okay um, to be in the car a few days after surgery since we have to go down. Cause they didn't give me a choice. They just said this is when her surgery is scheduled. Um, so they said yes, that she would be fine. So hopefully that will be the case. They, it's it's pretty, I don't want to say like non-invasive because they cut you open, but especially for her, 
when he palpated or felt her hernia, um, he kind of lingered there for a few minutes, like feeling the hernia, and I was like, what's this guy doing? Like, why is this taking so long? And then he said, well, long story short, most kids just have like the opening between the abdominal muscles and one little like herniated area. Um, but hers feels kind of like, he said, Swiss cheese. So he said that there are multiple herniations. And just, I might have made that word up. But he said there's multiple spots where it's herniae. herniated, herniae. Um, so he's going to have to, instead of doing a uh, horizontal incision and just making the one little repair and closing it up, he's going to have to do a vertical one and do all of the little spots. Um, he still said it should only take about 20 minutes and she'll go home with us that day. It's at the one day surgery center. Um, of course, I mean, I'm a mom, so I'm anxious and I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to find that one Xanax pill that I have laying around that I've held for a, a rainy day. I'm gonna need to find that, pop that bad boy. Um, but I trust our doctor, uh, he's a dad, incidentally also an adoptive dad, um, and He's waited on doing the surgery till he felt like it was exactly the right time and he feels like it's exactly the right time. So she will have her surgery in a couple weeks. Um, I'm still, I'm just giving you guys all the updates right now because I'm still waiting to hear, uh, to get the referral for Benjamin's pulmonologist, which a lot of you guys were telling me, no, you need to see an ENT. I asked my doctor that and she wants him to see a pulmonologist first. So we're just kind of going through those steps. So he'll see a pulmonologist first, and then I have a feeling, based on what some of y'all have shared with me, that he will also then end up going to see an ENT as well. So we need to get all that stuff done um, and moving along so we can kind of get some answers. This is very creepy, this red, oh, yeah. red light. Creepy! Um, so, Granada's at home with the other kids. We're gonna go have a little IKEA date and I don't know, you know, it might get wild, it might get me of, uh, wild and crazy on a Thursday night. The, the movie Old School with Will Ferrell, you remember that? No. It's like a I don't date night, you can do a little Bed Bath & Beyond, check out some blinds. I don't it's remember really that. Living it up. One of my favorite movies um, that's like that kind of humor, if mm -hmm. you will, is mm -hmm. the movie This Is 40 with Paul Rudd. Oh my gosh, that's so We bad. That's cried so through that movie, like cried laughing through that movie. There are so many things in there that, that are just one. like the things that people never talk about or say, or like when he's pooping and he's on his iPad and, he's on his iPad and she's like demanding to see it. Cause he, <laughs> Let me finish my move. <laughs> he like claims he's pooping in there forever, but he's just playing on his iPad. Anyways, just so funny. Um, all right, on to Ikea. All right, we're having a dinner date at Macaroni Grill. This one's dancing. How you doing, Ivy? Yeah, there's like hardly anybody in here. You gonna dance? Yeah, keep the crayons up here. Millie, Millie, can you show up? Millie, can you show us? Say, hmm, I know. Say, I know. Oh, you're hungry? Turn around, sit down. Yeah, Millie. Millie. Hello. All right, we have Grand Nana loaded up. CR has two of the kids, which means my math skills are accurate. I should have six children. We should probably count before we pull out of the driveway. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have all the girls and Benjamin. Um, we have a few errands to run. I have to mail something. What else? You need to go pick up some formula. We've run out of donated breast milk, but I think I'll be picking up more of that soon. But just in the meantime, I need to go pick up some formula. Granana and I are gonna get a coffee. <laughs> and then um, I think Granana wants to look for a birthday present for Noah, because his birthday's coming up. We just have some random errands to run. So that's what we're doing on Fun Friday. We'll see if it's actually fun. What's that? I didn't it's make that up. like an earring. Something about Eloise or I don't know. All right, we're in Target. Got Miss Rosie Rue, can you say hi? Hey. Hi. Benji, uh-oh, uh-oh, we dropped something. Mom. We dropped something. We're looking for Noah a present. 
Where did it go? She's what? pointing. Oh, over there, Angie. There's another passy on the ground right there. <laughs> That's a different kind. I don't know where Kennedy and. My dad and He likes those men. Kennedy. Shelby. Legos or dinosaurs? Or? Like I was thinking the, the Jurassic Legos. Oh, that's what you're gonna do. What baby? Look. Yeah, frozen. That's My frozen job baby. is. Are you playing a game with Millie Moo? Yes. Yeah, what game? Oh. Will she do it? See if she'll do it. Millie. Millie, show her. Millie. Millie, stop. Show her. What are you doing? <laughs> Amelia Joe, can you go blah 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 blah? Millie, Millie. Now, now. Don't put that near Millie. I'm getting bread. Millie, go. Wake up. Millie. Millie. Apparently no. The band is back together. We made it. I forgot the camera at home. When we went to get the boys' haircuts. I I know. Unfortunately. And old daddy -o got trimmed up a little bit too. Amelia's super happy, Dad. She got a new sussy at Target. Apparently, not a good one. Well, Amelia's not happy. She got a new sussy at Target. Oh, oh, whoa. And she fell. Let me see your haircut. Oh, Anyways, we're back. Let's see. Let's grip her, grip her, get this party. Let me see what I got. She got a bag. She got a reusable bag. Oh, that's breast milk, probably. Yep. Nice. Very good. Okay, Millie. Blind trust falls only work when the other person's looking. What kind of sorcery have you brought home? I walked by in the Target frozen section, and they had some Benihana. So, this this pains me a little bit. I just want to give it a try. I just want to see if it tastes. See if it tastes like Benihana or not. You know, like they're at. That's big claims. I'm taking personal big offense claims. to this. I bought a pretty expensive flat top grill, primarily okay. to cook and fried by rice. You bought? You mean I gifted you for Father's Day? But yeah, go ahead. It's minor details. However, I have yes, I have minor. perfected the Benihana fried rice. I cannot. Went over it's this good. one. It's good, it's good, but it's not perfect. And we've been over this. Your fried rice is delicious, but it does not taste it. it what it's gonna come down to exactly. is me needing to make my own garlic butter. That's what I have deduced the only variation in the recipe. Um, which I will master. And she brings home frozen Benihana fried rice. Try it. You can use it to base your recipe off of if it's good. So what I found at Target. Oh, sound of angels singing. Peppermint bark Oreos. <laughs> you want one? Whoa. You want a peppermint bark Oreo? Mm -hmm. Can have one together? Okay, Mom. Okay, hold on. We'll open them and have one together. Whoa. Oh, you already have a cookie. Whoa. <laughs> want one of these? Mm -hmm. Didn't Grandma get this Whoa. one? Okay. Grandma, you want one? No. I would love one, but no. All right, ready? <laughs> We eat it together. Cheers. Oh, my teeth. Mmm. 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 Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Pants are not going to fit for the rest of the year. Maybe longer. Hey, you, you want hey. a food? Mm -hmm. No, I did not see any Subaru. Were you even looking? For what? You look angry right now. I have a theory. I know your theory. That Everyone needs data. Okay. Everyone yeah. knows your theory. So you didn't look or you didn't see? You should add into your data. Oh, what do you How then? many divorced dads of eight kids drive Subarus? <laughs> Just a midlife crisis. I'm gonna deck out a WRX and thank you. Buy you one as a parting okay. gift. No. All right, so I'm pretty mad. Um, my weather app just went off. 
and apparently the southeast is in for an arctic blast tonight um does that sounds really violent by the way arctic blast so i'm a little irritated we're supposed to go to the renaissance or the renaissance festival tomorrow and i wanted to grill actually i am going to grill tonight but it's friggin cold out here like it's already jacket weather and that makes me sad um for dinner, let's do this. So we're gonna do honey, uh, like a blackened honey mustard chicken on the Blackstone, and then I'm also gonna do like a Fiesta bacon corn. I think I had mentioned it in a vlog previously, but um, it was it ended up raining, so I wasn't able to come out here and cook. But super easy recipe. You throw some frozen corn, some cilantro, some like fajita or taco seasoning, and some bacon. Mix it all up, and it's awesome. So what's cool is I get to share the kitchen with Grand Nana. All right, this is. She's the god, the godmother. Um, not literally, just like in the godfather sense. You know what I'm saying? So she's doing working on some of the the manual labor. She's doing all the dicing and the slicing and the prepping. Um, and then we're just talking. We're spitballing recipes for the cookbook. So we're gonna have a little bit of Grand Nana influence. Stella, quit itching your scratches like 97 times a day. <laughs> And yes, we do have flea medicine, and we've given it to her. All right, next up, just a giant bag of frozen corn. I'm going with about a, a two to one ratio for corn to bacon. So we got about a pound of bacon, going two pounds of corn. We're gonna let this stuff uh, cook up and then add in some seasonings and some cilantro. But we're about all done here. I added in my Southwest uh, seasoning. We added some red pepper, some crushed red pepper flakes little bit of garlic butter, some cilantro. We'll show you the finished product inside. And right, we got it all wrapped up. Bacon fried. Oops, focus. There we go. Fiesta bacon fried corn. Delicious. Some peppers, some rice. Blackened honey mustard chicken. One of the family's favorites. The kids mow this stuff down. Let's eat. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. 